Um, I forgot to start the vlog, so I'm gonna start it now. We are just leaving the co-working space where we worked out of for now, I think, three or four hours. Jay is in a very bad mood because he's hungry. Um, oh, I don't know. Here, got it. And we're now waiting for our Uber um, to get some food. Thank you, sir. Just at work until now. Catched up with my boy Kelvin again, which was very good. I gotta catch up with more people again and more often. Is that our Uber? No. Um, and he showed me a little bit of New York again. I miss that city so much. By the way, I got more clear clearance on the New York stuff. Um, I talked with the guy who knows his shit and I'm gonna wait exactly six months and one day until I reapply again. Um, because you don't want to be denied. Hello, sir. Very good. Um, because it's a bad thing to um, get denied multiple times for a visa and I don't want that happening. So I wanna maximize the, the chance that the next time I apply, I actually have a very strong case of, you know, being able to come back. So I'm gonna wait exactly six months and one day and I'm gonna reapply for a B1 visa and that's also, by the way, the reason why I'm really interested in the Bali thing because that means I have right now, I think like f five, four and a half months. I'm not sure right now how long I'm in, how long I'm out of New York right now. Um, then I have to gap and Bali might be the place to bridge that gap and just wait out my visa situation in Bali. Um, so yeah, that's the plan right now. And now we're on our way to food. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I wanted to update you on a major purchase de decision I just made. <clears throat> I bought all of these blueberries. Look at them. Look at them, how, how big they are. Wow. <laughs> this might be the greatest thing I've ever bought. That was the AirPods. AirPods are also pretty good. I might just eat this whole thing in one go. So, <clears throat> I think you guys know that the past couple of days I've been kind of struggling with one thing and that is that I feel like I'm not going big enough and, and that I want to do more. And I think I just realized at least, at least partly of what it is that made me kind of restless and it's that with the agency that I'm running and and I think one of the updates I didn't yet give is that originally it was me and a co-founder co who, who started this um, but we had very big differences on philosophy on um, how much we should share and how much of this whole building of the company should be public I was obviously very much of the mindset that all of this should be public um, and so we decided to he actually brought up the idea that he's going to take a step back. It's going to be my company. I'm going to be the sole founder and owner of the company. Um, he's still going to be part of it. He's still um, helping out with the content side of things, um, with strategy stuff, with operations. Um, but that means that I can make the decisions on, um, well, how much I share and, and basically all things um, company culture. Um, I think some of you people actually might know that we decided on the name Two Fuel, so I'm gonna change the name. Um, but right now we're at a very early stage. We have two clients right now that we're helping building a personal brand on LinkedIn. And so I realized that we kind of decided to, you know, take it slow in the beginning and figure things out because we're still figuring things out, right? And I realized that I want to scale already. And I think that there is no reason other than the limiting belief in my head that we're so early and we're still figuring things out. So we're not supposed to be thinking about scaling, but there is no objective reasons why I shouldn't scale. And acquire new clients and, and and outsource work because right now like a lot of the work I do I don't have to do it 
I'm doing it because, well, there's no one else right now who does it, but it's a lot of the, the, the things that I'm doing right now are very like my new tasks, very simple tasks. Editing, editing a video, writing subtitles under a video, um, scheduling posts. I don't have to do that. It's so easy to outsource that um, and, and you know pay other people to do these tasks and I can focus on other stuff that's um, acquiring new clients and strategy. And so I just wrote down like a lot of things that I think I should not be doing anymore and that should be outsourced and things that I should focus on more so we can scale already acquire some new clients like build this out a bit more go a bit bigger like get a bit in, into maybe uncomfortable position where we have to stretch to you know where it's getting harder um, so yeah I think that that's maybe that's not it but I feel like that's at least to some point why I was like in the back of my head I was like somehow this doesn't feel big enough it's just because we I've been stagnant for the last two months with that agency which is not very like large time frame but why not think about scaling right so yeah that was um, that was something I just realized so I just got off a call with my good friend Louis um, Louis de Kaiser god that's a fancy name I wish I had a name like that but we were talking about something and I, I, I said I said that we kind of got to the topic of you know life goals or whatever and I think one interesting question that I have written down and a question that I try to come back to regularly and it's a question that I don't have an answer to is that what is a goal that if that is the only if what is a goal that if that's the only thing I'll achieve in my lifespan like in the entirety of my life I would be satisfied with like what would be something that if I could put that on my life's resume I would be cool with that resume and I think it needs to be something that you can like check box so it can't be something I want to impact as many people as possible or I want to change the world because like you, you can't really check box that so like how do you measure that like did you change the word or not well that's all perspective did you like I want to impact that you know as many people as possible like what's that number you know it needs to be something that you can like did it or didn't do it like that could be something like I want to put a person on Mars like you can very, very easily check whether you put a person on Mars like like cure cancer like you can check box that and as I said it, I don't have an answer to, th to that question I don't know what that one goal is I think you can have multiple um, but I think it's a it's at least an interesting question to ask yourself or try to find an answer to you know so I just found the perfect moment to sign off the vlog because Jay just spilled water over there, hey, can you point the camera over there, Jay? Just point it over there a bit. There's a massive water. No, put it a bit further. A bit further. Jay, that, yeah. <laughs> it's all wet. You're brilliant, Jay. He literally grabbed the glass and let it drop. But anyway, I mean, that's just, that's just a cool thing. We're gonna end the vlog now. I'm editing this vlog right now. Today was a pretty unexciting day again. Tomorrow, actually, we're gonna have another braai, so another grilling barbecue, however you want to call it, with Lucas, <coughs> the guy who we went on a hike with. He actually drives a Porsche, Porsche, so, you know. What does that have to I'm, do with anything? Well, that just means I'm, I'm gonna try very hard to become his friend tomorrow. What do you mean? That's what Because he drives mean. a Porsche? Yeah, that's how it works. Someone has a Porsche, you will try to become the best friend. Like, that's how society works, dude. Anyway, so we're gonna do that. So tomorrow you might actually see something, like, interesting if he allows us to film his Porsche, depending on how well it will work out with me becoming his friend. But that was today. Please make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell button, and then we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace out. 
hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love But why not? Holy shit I just wanna make a trip to the China Hawaiian Greece, that's the way 